In this video, we're going to demonstrate basic ultrasound cervical anatomy mapping. We'll include views of the supraclavicular and inner scalene block approaches, as well as tracing of nerve roots. The patient here is positioned supine with the head turned away from the transducer. The transducer is placed here at the supraclavicular notch. The first view obtained is that of the supraclavicular approach. Trunks and divisions of the brachial plexus are identified with key anatomic landmarks, including the subclavian artery and first rib. As the probe is translated cephalad, components of the brachial plexus are visualized between the anterior and middle scalene muscles. This view obtained is that of the inner scalene approach. Individual nerve roots are identified, including split C6 and C7 roots. As the probe continues to be translated cephalad, hypoechoic striated muscles are identified, including the sternocleidomastoid, anterior, and middle scalene muscles. The internal jugular vein and vertebral artery are also seen. Again, individual nerve roots are seen here. The split C7 nerve root has now coalesced and is visualized next to the C7 transverse process. C7 is uniquely configured with a prominent posterior tubercle and largely absent anterior tubercle. With continued cephalad translation of the ultrasound probe, the internal jugular vein is now identified more prominently. The split C6 nerve root has also coalesced now and visualized as a hypoechoic structure held between the anterior and posterior tubercles of the C6 vertebrae. As the probe continues to be translated, the internal jugular vein and carotid artery are now visualized together. The C5 nerve root is visualized between the anterior and posterior tubercles of the C5 vertebrae a structure with similar features to C6. Tracing the nerve roots in this manner may be helpful in identifying structures of the brachial plexus seen with the supraclavicular and inner scalene approaches.